Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Magazine have revealed that Meghan and Harry will host a specially curated edition of Time 100, Talks on October 20th. It is Time's series of virtual conversations that convenes extraordinary leaders from every field to spotlight solutions and encourage action. Dan McSai, Time Exec Editor and Editorial Director of Time 100, said the Sussexes are among the most influential voices in the world. Also added, we look forward to working with them to elevate essential voices and highlight real solutions to some of the most pressing issues of our time. Last year, Harry and Meghan also made Time's 2019 list for 25 most influential people on the internet. Back in 2018, Meghan was selected as the seventh person of the year on the shortlist for person of the year. She also made it onto the Time 100 most influential people list. Priyanka Chopra Jonas wrote a touching tribute for Meghan. Harry also made the list for Time 100 Most Influential People that year. Melton John honored Harry by also writing a sweet tribute. Meghan also wrote an article for Time about period poverty after her visit to India in 2017. Many people were praying for their downfall, but they stay winning. The man behind these incredible pictures is the Sussexes go to photographer or videographer Matt Sales. You'll recall his first time working with the Sussexes was during the chat between Gloria Steinem and Meghan filmed in August. He has always ensured his work reflects what the world looks like, from gender and race to age and size. He was also on hand to photograph Harry and Meghan during their visit to a preschool learning center and plant flowers including forget-me-nots in honor of Princess Diana's memory. It's great to see the Sussexes helping those from creative fields too, and I like that he is based in her hometown. Important to help and support your locals. Another analysis. What Meghan Markle was really like in college. It may come as a surprise that for much of history, the royal family of the United Kingdom did not attend a university. Reigning Queen, Elizabeth studied with private tutors and her son, Prince Charles, was the first heir to the throne to receive a degree from his university. His one-time wife and the mother of his children, Princess Diana, did not receive a degree either. Things changed significantly with the following generation, however. Prince William earned a degree from the University of St. Andrews in Scotland, where he met his wife, Princess Catherine, Kate Middleton. While Prince Harry did not attend university, his wife Meghan Markle attended Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois. Long before she ever met the prince, Meghan studied theater and international relations. This double major served the future duchess almost clairvoyantly well, preparing her not only for her career as an actress, but for her life in the spotlight on both sides of the Atlantic. Meghan Markle prepared for a career in Hollywood. Meghan Markle has said she was a theater nerd while studying at Northwestern. Meghan originally went into politics because, as she told Marie Claire, I hated this idea of being this cliché, a girl from Los Angeles, who decides to be an actress. Despite potential clichés, Megan's professors spoke highly of her work in the classroom and on the stage. Her professor Harvey Young spoke to the Chicago Tribune about Megan's skill and depth in her classes. Young taught a class on contemporary African American theater, saying that Megan had a very sophisticated understanding of the material, commenting, she was very clear about the need to think about the experiences of people who are not only biracial but people of color. She was mindful of the need for gender equality and the importance of championing for women's rights. These values translated not only to Megan's work on the stage, but her activities throughout the campus, raising money with the Kappa Kappa Gamma sorority, where she fit right in, Holter Bump, 
one of Negan's sisters, told the Chicago Tribune. Myself and most of my sisters agreed that she is just a really lovely person. She always had this manner to her of being dignified and poised, just very appropriate in every circumstance. These qualities helped her not only in school, but in her other political interests as well. Northwestern prepared Meghan Markle for a life close to politics. Before Meghan Markle decided to pursue theater in college, she had made up her mind that she wanted to learn more about politics. Telling Marie Claire in 2013 that she wanted to avoid being the cliché, Los Angeles girl turned actress. She said, I wanted more than that, and I had always loved politics, so I ended up changing my major completely, and double, majoring in theater and international relations. Megan, who backpacked across France and Italy, also got the opportunity to intern at the U.S. Embassy in Buenos Aires. Megan looked back on her time in Argentina, recalling, It was during their economic devaluation, and our Secretary of the Treasury at the time, Paul O'Neill, was there. So I'm 20 years old, in Buenos Aires, in a motorcade, doing that whole thing, Megan joked. I thought for sure I would still have a career in politics. Little did she know how much her life would change in the coming years, and that her life would eventually return to diplomatic trips and motorcades alongside Prince Harry. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not let you wait any longer. Let's start the story. People are calling Meghan Markle tone deaf for saying she was the most trolled person in the entire world. In honor of National Mental Health Day on Oct 10, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex discussed the negative press and comments she had been receiving. In one instance, Meghan even referred to herself as the most trolled person in the entire world in 2019. While it's not clear if Meghan meant that literally, many people are finding her claim distasteful. In fact, some are even calling her tone deaf. Meghan Markle addressed the online hate she received. Meghan and her husband, Prince Harry, recently had a chat with the Teenager Therapy podcast, which is hosted by a group of teens in California. There, she talked about the negative attention she had been receiving since joining the royal family, Meghan said. I'm told that in 2019 I was the most trolled person in the entire world male or female. Now eight months of that I wasn't even visible. I was on maternity leave or with a baby but what was able to just be manufactured and churned out, it's almost unsurvivable. She also added. That's so big you can't even think about what that feels like because I don't care if you're 15 or 25 people are saying things about you that aren't true what that does to your mental and emotional health is so damaging. Why people are calling Meghan Markle tone deaf. Although Meghan seemed to have good intentions, not everyone thought her story was a sensible one. In fact, some people are even calling Meghan tone deaf for trying to compare her life as a wealthy royal to that of an average teenager. One person said, I really think Harry and Meghan need to stop trying to be relatable when making appearances. I can understand why they're doing it so they can bond over a shared feeling and seem approachable, but it just comes across very tone deaf and like they're trying to insert themselves into the conversation. The person continued. Being a teen dealing with mental health issues during a pandemic talking with someone, as they say how hard they've had it from, their mansion is never a good look. They can never relate to your lifestyle. Another user agreed, adding that teenagers are often stressed over COVID lockdown and trying to pass exams, not being the most trolled person on the internet. Some people also came to Meghan Markle's defense. However, some people do not think the criticism thrown at Meghan is entirely fair. One Reddit user even pointed out that Meghan and Harry did seem to understand their position in society relative to the teens they were speaking to. The user said, I thought they both did a good job of acknowledging their privilege and immediately saying they can't complain they have their health, etc., but the struggles they have faced still don't make them any less human even if it is different to most people's lives. Another person also said, I actually liked what they had to say on the podcast. I think that mental health problems are something that affects everyone, no matter what our background is, and they actually seemed really genuine and not preachy for once.
At the end of the day, it's clear Meghan and Harry's behavior often incites mixed responses from royal followers. While some people applaud them for their work, others think they do not act in a way that helps their image. Ultimately, however, it does not seem like the Sussexes will disappear from the limelight anytime soon. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.